Greetings. My name is Shaheed Muhammad, also known as the Math Doctor. I welcome you to this introductory introduction of this powerful course entitled Math the Mathematical Theology and the Power and Science of the Number One. I have been a high school math teacher for the past 25 years at Muhammad University of Islam, as well as in the past 10 years as a mathematics professor at Malcolm X College. I have been teaching mathematics to high school and post-secondary students in a manner to get them inspired and motivated to become masters in mathematics. I also have gone all over the country in different cities giving workshops and lectures to parents, students, as well as teachers on how to properly teach mathematics to black students, Hispanic students, and any students of color. I am a publisher and author of several books, in particular one which is entitled How to Teach Math to Black Students, a publisher and author of this book here, 12 Inches Makes a Ruler, The Meaning of the Number 12. A lot of the foundation and basis of this course will be extracted out of this book that I've written on 12 Inches Makes a Ruler, where we go into the mathematical theology and some of the objectives that we have in this introductory course. So it is with great excitement and pleasure that I appeal to you to take this course, enroll in this powerful mind-stimulating course that's going to help us understand the mathematical theology and the power and science of the number one. We will be looking at one, how the study of God, which is the meaning of theology, can be verified, analyzed, and assessed through the powerful science of mathematics. We will look at how we can verify and justify the oneness of God, the reality of God using the mathematical theology. This mathematical theology was taught to us by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and now the honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan, but also his beloved wife, Mother Tanera Muhammad was the, one of the main catalysts for me gaining understanding into this powerful, awesome science of the mathematical theology and how to verify and justify history, science, universal events in Islam using mathematics. So we will look at how to uh, understand the meaning of numbers in Islam. Every number has a meaning. We will not cover all the numbers because, of course, the number system is infinite, but we will look at some of the main numbers that we deal with on a daily basis and how we can extract wisdom out of those numbers to apply it to Islam, to understand current and world events, and to understand the mathematical theology and science of Allah God and of Islam. We will also look at how the Holy Quran is a mathematically coded book. And we're taught that the code for the Holy Quran is the number 19. So we will deal with the number 19, which Mother Tanita Muhammad is the catalyst for exposing the power and mathematical code of the Holy Quran using that number 19. So we will learn how we can take the number 19, put it in front of a Holy Quran surah, and then relate that to an actual date and find that there is a synergism and a synthesis between that year, current events of that year, and the Holy Quran Surah's information and wisdom in it. We will also look at how we can prove the reality of God being one, uh, the reality of God being a seen being, even though he's unseen. God being proven using mathematics. So those that take this course will be able to not only decipher the uh, mathematical code of the Holy Quran, but we will also be able to prove the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad through Minister Louis Farrakhan using mathematics. So one basis of this is the understanding of the meaning of the numbers. 
once we get a full understanding of some of the numbers and their meanings, then we will be able to begin to speak the mathematical language and bear witness to the mathematical theology. I encouraging you to quickly and expeditiously enroll in this powerful class. Some of the resources and materials we'll be using for the basis of this class, of course, is the Supreme Wisdom Lessons given to us by Master Fahid Muhammad. Those will be the main basis of the course. We also will go into Holy Quran and Bible uh, scriptures and references, as well as um, the message to the black man and all the books that bear witness to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and where we get the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad will be pretty much the material basis for our study. Look at how mathematics is a key to understanding the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Islam. We're taught that Islam is mathematics. So we have to understand and have a root understanding of mathematics so that we can understand fully why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. So I just wanna give a quick example of some of the things that students will be able to do upon finishing and completing this powerful course. So we mentioned that we will be able to take numbers and understand their meaning. So here we have the scientific uh, acronym for uh, what we call our genetic structure or genetic coding called DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid, shortened as DNA. Mother Tanetta would always uh, explain to us in her workshops and in her lectures how we can take not only the numbers, but the letters and synergize them with the numbers and then we will get powerful meanings from the synergism of the two. So here is an example of that. Here you have DNA and we know DNA, the letter D, if we count what letter it is in the alphabet, D is the fourth letter. We know N is the 14th letter and A is the first letter. So if we take those numbers four, 14, and one, and add them across, which we call resolving the number, add them across, we get the number 19. And 19 is a very, very powerful number. As we get into the course, 19 will be one of those numbers that we get into the meaning of. But just to suffice it for this quick introductory course uh, video, 19 represents the signature and presence of Allah God. So in the DNA structure of every human being is letting us know who our originator is, who we all came from. We all came from that one God who originated the heavens and the earth. So also in the number 19, if you resolve it further, one plus nine is 10. And 10, if you look at it, is one, which represents Allah God next to a zero, which represents the triple darkness in which he came out of, but it also represents something that seems to be nothing, yet when God puts himself with that nothing, it makes it something. So in our DNA, we realize that we are producing new life with the essence of God in that new life, in the DNA, in the chromosome structure. So that's one example of how we'll be able to take numbers, letters, dates, years, and major events and relate them mathematically with the mathematical theology and the mathematical language and gain explosive knowledge and wisdom from that. So I'm hoping that you will expeditiously get to the website, get to the registration site or page and quickly register for this powerful course. You don't wanna miss the power and science of the number one in the mathematical theology. We thank you for these few brief moments and we hope to see you on the line when we start the next phase of this course. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.